Hi fellow crafters! This week I'm going to be showing you another fun fold card technique. This time using my best year stamp set, my forever fern stamp set, and its matching dies. I'm going to be making a birthday card, but you can adapt this technique for any occasion you need. Be sure to watch all the way through my video for my bonus tips and additional card design ideas. Let's get started! Hey everyone, I'm Terry and I'm nuts about stamping. I love sharing techniques and project ideas for rubber stamping, scrapbooking, and paper crafting with you each week. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you'll be the first to be notified when my next video goes live. Now, let's get going on this fun fold idea. Let's start off by having a look at the Best Year Stamp Set. I think this is one of the hidden gems in the annual catalog. These sentiments will help you make greeting cards for events throughout the entire year. And the thing that I love most about it is that these sentiments can be used on the outside of the cards as well as in the inside. So you're gonna see that in a few minutes. So to create my fun fold technique, I'm going to start off with two pieces of Misty Moonlight cardstock and I'm going to take each one of them and I'm going to score them to create the fun fold. So I'm gonna bring in my Simply Scored. Love, love, love this tool. And on the larger piece of Misty Moonlight, I am going to score it at five and a half. So there we go. I'm gonna score it at five and a half. That's all I'm gonna do for that piece, set it aside for a minute. And then the smaller or the narrower piece of Misty Moonlight, I'm going to score at four inches, like so. I'm done with my Simply Scored. I will come back to these in a couple of minutes, but I want to do some stamping and die cutting first. So I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I was going to use my Forever Fern stamp set, and I've chosen my all-time favorite. I think this is my favorite stamp ever when it comes to doing ferns or leaves or florals. I just love how this syncs up. So I have a scrap piece of Whisper White, and actually what I want to do is create two of these images. I'll show you one and then I'll stop the video and then I'll create the second one to save you watching time. I'm gonna bring in my Misty Moonlight and I'm going to ink it up and stamp it down. Oh, I just, I swear, I absolutely love it. Okay, so I told you I'm gonna create two, but I'm also gonna do a phrase from the Best Year stamp set, and I'm going to ink it and stamp it down in Misty Moonlight as well, and I'm going to die cut it. So I'm going to do that right now as well, so that I only have to do one pass through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Well, I'll have to do two passes because I need to create two of the ferns. All right, so let me bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm gonna use my magnetic platform because I'm using my metal dies. And here is from the Forever Flourishing die pack. Here's the die that matches up with this particular fern. And then for the happy birthday to you, I decided I'm going to die cut it out using my stitched rectangle, rectangle stitched framelits. Just gonna get this straight. Okay. So I'll go ahead and run this through. Here's my fern. And here's my phrase. Now what I'll do is I'll stop the video and I'm going to stamp and die cut a second image. Then I'll come back and I'll show you the next step in creating this fun fold card. 
There we go. I've got my images and my phrase ready to go. And now let's work on designing this fun fold card. So remember I scored the larger piece of Misty Moonlight. I scored it here. And what I'm going to do is bring in my bone folder and I am going to burnish this crease like so. So you have the first part of this fun fold card idea. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in two pieces of the Beauty of the Earth Designer Series paper. And the reason I chose these designs is because I love whoops, this particular pattern with its misty moonlight color in it. So I'm going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm going to take one piece of this designer paper and I'm going to adhere it onto the outside of this fun fold like so. And then the second piece I am going to put on the inside of the fun fold. Remember I said this is the first fun fold for this card. So that gets this started here. I love this fun fold card idea because it's the perfect way to use up leftover scraps of your designer paper. If you would like another idea for using up designer series paper, why don't you check out this video next? Now the next thing I want to do is work on the inside of this card and I've got a second piece of the Beauty of the Earth Designer Series paper and I'm going to put some multi-purpose liquid glue on it and I'm going to adhere that down on the inside of this fun fold layer just like so. Now I'm gonna slide it aside, let it dry for a bit, and now I'm going to bring in this second piece of Misty Moonlight. Remember we also scored this on the Simply Scored. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it and I'm going to burnish it so it lays like that. Now, normally you would think that a card would be like this, but we're going to do the reverse. And what I'm going to do is I have another piece of the Beauty of the Earth Designer Series paper. It's actually the back side of the pattern that we've already used. And I am going to put glue on it and I'm going to adhere it on what you might think is the back of this little card here. You'll see, you'll see what's going to happen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my phrase and I'm going to adhere that onto this layer, like so. Okay, and now I've got these two ferns <clears throat> and I'm going to use my mini Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to put one fern on each side of my phrase. I think I only need two mini Stampin' Dimensionals because they're pretty sticky. Let's see. Don't really wanna cover up that swirl. Okay, and then the second one. Okay, like like so. So by putting them on either side of the phrase, it kind of draws your eye in and really features that happy birthday phrase for this little um, layer that we're going to um, uh, attach now to this card base. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over. Now I could use my tear and tape adhesive, but I think this adhesive will also work 
because this layer is not really heavy. And I have one of the tails from the mini Stampin' Dimensionals on here. There we go. Now I'm going to attach it in the center of the card base like so. Now, I want to have a phrase on the inside. So what I'm going to do is slide that aside. I have a piece of basic white cardstock and I have a second phrase from the best year stamp set and I'm going to ink it up using Misty Moonlight and I'm going to stamp it down like so. And then from the Forever, Forever Fern, I have this little fern and I thought it might be nice to sort of pull the greens from the designer series paper. So I'm going to use Old Olive, which is one of the colors in that designer series paper. I'm going to ink up the fern and I'm going to stamp it down like that. And I think it's just, it just makes it really nice and pulls it all together. And then I'm going to add some glue to this layer. And I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to put it down like so. Then here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close this flap. And then I'm going to put this flap over top so that it creates this really fun fold idea with a nice little message inside. Now, as it is, my card is really pretty and I could consider it done, but I would like to add one final touch that will actually help keep this flap laying a little bit flatter. I really would like to use a strip of ribbon on my card, but I don't have a corresponding color. All I have is this uh, basic white. It's a, a crinkled seam binding, but I'm gonna set this aside for a second, bring in a scrap piece of grid paper, and what I want to do is color this ribbon. So the first thing I'll do is I'll measure how much I think I'm going to need, which is about that much. Let me get my scissors. And then I'll cut that strip off the bolt. Then I'm going to bring in my Misty Moonlight ink and I have one of my Stampin' sponges that is dedicated to sort of the blue color and I'm going to wipe Misty Moonlight ink all over this ribbon on both sides. I'm gonna let it dry just for a few minutes. It doesn't take long for it to dry. And then I'll come back and we'll attach the ribbon to complete the card. Back in a moment. And there we go. My card is complete by adding this lovely touch of ribbon, which I wrapped around the whole card. That helps keep this flap closed. Now, when your friends or your family members receive this card, they'll have to slide the ribbon off to open it up. So an alternative would be just to wrap the ribbon around this flap rather than the whole card. So let me show you a second idea that does exactly that. I decided to make this card idea as well. I love this fun fold so much that I thought, well, I'll use up some of my retired designer series paper to make a second idea to share with you. So this uh, particular project uses the retired Dandy Garden designer series paper. The phrase comes from the Dragonfly Garden stamp set. This um, mossy meadow ribbon is also retired and I used some of the Dandy Wishes dies to create some elements. So this is what it looks like when the ribbon does not go around the whole card. So I'll open this up, I'll open this up, and then I've got the same happy birthday to you. I have an additional element here, and 
There we go. We have a second idea using the same funfold technique. If you'd like a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurement for the cardstock layers, head on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While you're on my blog, I invite you to join my free mailing list. I send two newsletters each week by email, and in each one, I'll post a project idea that you won't see anywhere else. I'm Terry. I am Nuts About Stamping. I hope you'll try this fun fold card idea someday soon. Bye for now.